Hi friends, my name is Jason Harbour and I wanted to make this a uh, very quick video to sort of possibly shed some light on what's been going on with YouTube. And I'm going to give you a very quick explanation of what I think is uh, why they're changing their policy on the YouTube partnership program to where you have to have 4,000 hours of watch time over the past 12 months and 1,000 subscribers. So YouTube is a business and I am also a business owner and I run uh, Whizbang Woodworks. And I wanted to use that to give you an example of uh, how YouTube works, how they make their money, and why they're doing this. So, <clears throat> YouTube, uh, we provide content on the platform. And you can think of that in woodworking terms as supplying raw wood. And YouTube takes this raw wood, and if I were YouTube, I would have to curate and sort of cut down the best parts of it, which is why they're uh, upping the requirements for the YouTube partnership program, because there's a lot of people that, you know, upload, you know, they start a channel, monetize it, upload content that isn't theirs, and uh, frankly make a whole lot of money before they catch them. So what YouTube does is they take that raw wood and they repackage it into something usable. Now, <clears throat> Who they're selling to is not other people on the platform, but the advertisers. And the reason that they're doing this is because the advertisers give them money. That's where YouTube's money comes from, is the advertisers. And the reason that we don't want to break that trust with the advertisers and why they're, they're seeming to protect the advertisers more than the content creators is because at the end of the day, they are a business and they want to make money. But this is sort of a good thing because <clears throat> when they make money, they pass that money. If you're within the requirements and believe me, I think that there is a better way to curate out the bad actors than just to up the requirements because I, uh, one of my channels is also getting hit and I had a viral video on one of those channels that's under a thousand subscribers, <clears throat> excuse me, subscribers that, uh, in 30 days will no longer be monetized. So if you think about the fact that they want to protect the advertisers and they're not selling to other people on the platform, even though uh, they're trying to get people to watch the content, but really that's not their jobs. That's our job. Our job is to, buy, to uh, <clears throat> excuse me, provide quality content that people will watch. And then they take that advertiser space that we provide and repackage it and sell it to the advertisers. Uh, when you have people that are not playing by the rules and you have bad spots of wood in there, you you don't want to repackage that and send it out to be sold because then the advertisers will stop paying that awesome YouTube money. So hopefully that provides some explanation as to why YouTube is doing what they're doing. Um, I think there's probably a better way to do it, possibly with algorithms or something, but I think this is their way of being, you know, the simplest possible solution for it. But then again, you know, I'm not on the inside of YouTube, but I think that's what is going on. Uh, please share this video everywhere. Uh, if you can, retweet it, share it on Facebook, like this video, subscribe to this channel. And I hope that all of you have an awesome day. Hopefully not have your accounts uh, demonetized. Peace.